Welcome back to the channel. Today we talk about imitation as the saying goes is the sincerest form of flattering. Let's roll the intro. Since like one year ago I got pretty much into street photography and Lately, I'm even more into street photography. I'm uh, way more on the way on the streets of the city I live in. And I try to be like three to four times a week in the city to take photos of the life happening there. And I'm quite happy with the photos I took. As you probably have your own inspiration, I have my own inspirations. Like, there are some really big names in street photography. David just is big name. It's been a lot of big games. We have famous street photographers like Helen Levitt, Marilyn Meyer, Sean Byronitz, Sean McMatson, Andy Cantier Bresson, Bill Cunningham, Bruce Dillon, Nelso Moyama. And especially lately, I ran into a specific street photographer, the Doctor Who of black and white photography, the master himself, the undisputed SPI champion of the world, Alan Shaler. As I saw these high contrast black and white shots, I fell in love with his work, I discovered his book Metropolis and I was at that moment a big fan of his work. As it is with inspiration, you try things out and I tried some black and white photography on my own. and. I achieve probably, even if it's a big statement, my bucket shot of the year here. What makes this shot so special for me? At first, I really like the lighting. The sun hitting from the back through the fence, shaping the dog, just awesome. The emotional attachment, because I really love my dog. I have a really deep connection, like probably every dog owner has or should have to this dog. If you need a friend, get a dog. So, I just feel so attached to the image because I think I captured his charisma, his riz, as the young people would say. I got the exposure quite right. The composition. He stands nearly perfect there in the middle of the picture with the fans in the back, the lining, the lines. Everything like it should be in this moment. And last but not least, the editing. I and there we go, come to the point where the inspiration hints from a guy like Lanchella. I wanted that high contrast black and white look. I took the picture and a monochrome profile with my Canon R8. So I already had that black and white feeling while shooting it because I saw it in black and white or monochrome through my viewfinder. The main difference, especially when it comes to the editing, is that Anshala uses most of the time a Leica M monochrome. It has a much higher dynamic range especially for those black and white photos because it has a sensor especially for black and white. My Canon R8 doesn't have this. 
and I took a similar shot from Anand Shana and my shot and put it side to side. So I could tweak it in the way I got the feeling that they are quite similar of the editing style. Now to the point, isn't that just art theft? Isn't like copying another style, not using your own imagination, your own skill, your own style? And I think, no, I think, think it's okay. It's like, I appreciate the style really much and it's like we all have artists we appreciate, we love some inspiration and it's so hard to invent something completely new in 2024, like we live in a modern age where we have all this information from the internet and we get so much input and we have so much output it's probably impossible to create something unique unique it's not impossible but rarely possible my conclusion is that i'm fine with the picture as it is it's a good picture Yes, I ended it in a certain style to match it of a style of another person, but it's a person I admire. I think you're amazing. I do not try to get his fame or the post everywhere that look at my Alan Shana style picture. No, it's just my favorite shot. It's like I feel comfortable with it, and that's the main thing. It's not like creating art through mid-journey and AI where they steal from other artists. Nothing against AI, this is a whole another topic which is way too far for a video like this, but it's more like an appreciation I try to get into his workflow. He shows his workflow. It's not like it's the most hidden Pandora secret it's more like he's so open about his workflow and the thing is it's not possible to copy someone's work especially in photography one to one I will never take a picture which will exactly look like Alan Shannon's work because he is Alan Shannon he does his work I'm my own person, my pictures will always have my style. It's more like an imitation of a style, but it's my dog, it's the town I live in. I took that picture, I made it black and white, like Ellen Shana shoots in black and white. And the thing is, it's more like I have the feeling a lot of people are ashamed of their inspirations. No, don't be ashamed of your inspirations. Yeah, maybe sometimes it looks pretty much like the work of somebody different, but you go out there, you shoot the picture, it's your picture. So come to the last but not least point, you have so much more inspiration than probably one person. There are a few persons and there are so many artists, so many great artists and photographers in the world I admire and I think probably my work in the end is a mixture of all these inspirations I took in, I consumed over years and in the end I add my own touch to it. So I hope you get the point, a lot of talking today, but I just had such a good feeling about this photo, it's really special to me, and I hope you get 
your own bucket shot yourself this year. So subscribe if you want to, like this video if you want to, and comment if you want to. Until the next video, goodbye. Let's do something. Boop, 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 boop.